Hi, just like all the components of HVAC system, backflow preventers are all sensitive to dirt and impurities in the domestic water. Dirt and impurities may bring to undesired leakages through the discharge line. Today we will see two methods in order to verify whether the backflow preventer is operating correctly or not. The first method is instrumental, we will use an differential manometer, and the second one is a quick performance test. If we close the downstream shutoff valve and the backflow preventer keeps on leaking, it means that we have a failure in the upstream check valve or in the discharge valve that is the central component of the backflow preventer. So let's close the upstream shutoff valve and let's open the upstream chamber pressure tap. If I have absence of discharge flow or the discharge flow is too low, it means that the opening mechanism and the obturator are blocked. Let's open again the downstream shutoff valve. If we detect a leakage from the discharge line, it means that the downstream check valve is failed. In case of failure of downstream check valve or upstream check valve, there are some basic operations to do and now we will see them together. Close both the shutoff valves and then vent the air out of the unit with the aim of the pressure ports on the top part of the backflow preventer. This way, the water content in the unit will be discharged. In this moment, it is possible to act the maintenance of the Y strainer. By removing the ceiling and the screws, it is possible to completely open the unit, removing the upper part. Pay attention to keep, using the hands, the upper part tight to the valve body. With the aim of a long jaw plier, remove the metallic clip fixing the upstream check valve. Remove the whole upstream check valve. The same way, remove the fixing clip of the downstream check valve and remove the whole check valve from the valve. Pay attention to the status of the seat and of the o-rings of both the check valves. Pay also attention to the status of the discharge valve seat and to the status of the diaphragm. Once the check valve have been cleaned or replaced, we can put them back. Both the check valves and the discharge valve are available as spare part. Pay attention to the correct position of the stem of the discharge valve while reassembling the unit. Close again the pressure ports and now we can open again the shutoff valves. Thank you for your attention and keep on following us on YouTube. Bye bye.